Art Gallery of Hamilton artist educator, Tyler Van Holst, joins us from the AGH to show us how to draw silly robots. Founded in 1914, the Art Gallery of Hamilton is the oldest and largest art museum in Southern Ontario, with a permanent collection that is recognized as one of the finest in Canada. Check out their website for more fun workshops by Tyler. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to spend some time learning uh, how to draw some silly robots. You can see I have a few examples up here and I'm going to walk you through my process of how we do that. Uh, some supplies that you'll need, a pen or a pencil or a marker, maybe some colored pencils or some colored markers, really whatever you like to draw with, um, maybe an eraser and some paper. I'm going to start off in my sketchbook here and then I'm going to move on to a bigger sheet of paper um, a little bit later. Um, and the other thing that you might want to, to grab for this is maybe some little doodads and things around your house so for some inspiration. So I have a pepper shaker and this other that's cayenne pepper, this little, uh, little tiny flower pot, um, this plug, the wall plug, roll of tape. A uh, great place to find things for inspiration is kitchen cupboards. So this is a lemon and lime squeezer. Can openers are good for this sort of thing. And then this weird thingy uh, used for baking, some kind of egg beater or something like that. So I've got a bunch of things here that I'm going to use for inspiration. I'm going to start by just kind of sketching some of those out. So now that I've drawn a couple of these, I'm going to decide which one I want to use. I think today I'm going to go with the pepper shaker. So I'm going to put my sketchbook away. <clears throat> and a lot of these robots you see here, I started with this technique. Um, so I'm going to draw now a much larger pepper shaker. And now it's time to add in some robot features to make it look more like a robot. And what I've done ahead of time is I've sketched out a couple different things that you might find on a robot. And you might find this helpful um, to sketch out a few things here. I've got some uh, control panels, some eyes, some arms, things like that. You can even sketch out some of the other objects um, that you have in your uh, in your little collection here. Now once I've done these, I've cut some of them out. Um, so that way I can maybe assemble them around. Maybe I can put the arm thing up there, the eyes down here, or you can decide maybe I want it up there or like this. This way you can try things on without fully committing yet and you can see if you like it. Um, maybe I prefer those eyes instead. Maybe I want a, a control panel down there. Maybe I want it up there. Um, and then you can see I've got a few other things here I can choose from. So I have this little little thing that sits in my sketchbook. It's a little library, so when I'm not sure, uh, when I need a little, uh, a little bit of inspiration, I can just look to that. All right, so I think I'm pretty happy with, I like the idea of the eyes being down low and this arm being kind of up here. So, you can either glue them on and make it into a collage, or now you can just kind of take those away and draw them in. Once you have things where you like them, you can go over with some marker and as I'm doing this I always like to add little details and gadgets here and there you know maybe I'll draw little buttons maybe a switch up here maybe the arm has a big sort of thing at the end like that maybe has like kind of a tread and then I can go back through you have an eraser just rub out these lines 
And there you have drawn. You started with a with a salt shaker, and you are left with a lovely drawing of your very own silly robot. Why not upload your writing, your videos, and your ideas to the Creativity Club on the Telling Tales website? Thank you for joining us. See you again.